Hi, I'm Shannon at Dreamtime Creative. So, this is the second tutorial in our project Doorstep Creations. Um, and today, the tutorial is going to be Dolly Peg People. So, if you don't have a Dolly Peg People kit already, um, you just need to email us at hello at dreamtimecreative.org. This amazing project was funded by Nova Wakefield. So, thank you, Nova. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us. You can look on our Facebook page, Dreamtime Creative. Um, all the activities, there will be six all together, will be on our event page for Doorstep Creations. There's a Facebook group that you can join and the beauty of this project is we're hoping you'll keep some sort of creative journal. So whether you do one of the crafts or all six, it would be great if you could document that because we will exhibit it sometime this year. So anyway, take care and thanks for watching. Okay, so we're at the craft table. Got everything set up, I hope. So Dolly Peg. In your pack, you're going to have a piece of glittery card or metallic card, and you're going to have some felt. So you can see I've already been practicing and using mine, so we don't need that for now. Um, you will need, um, and obviously we couldn't provide you with everything, you will need some scissors. You'll need some glue, I've got my glue, and like a paintbrush, unless you want to use your fingers. Um, pencil might come in handy if you want to measure things, um, some cotton, um, string, I mean I've used some tape because obviously the glue doesn't dry instantly, um, that's just uh, PVA. Um, because the glue doesn't dry instantly, um, I've used tape just to secure things while they dry, and I'll show you examples of that. Um, okay, so now I know what's in your pack. You might want to add to that, and we'll go we'll go through some of those things later. Um, also in your pack, you should have got some yarn as well. Um, but I think we're going to start by making a mermaid, a dolly peg mermaid. So you have your dolly peg and you have a little stand. Now with the mermaid, the stand's not going to work, um, but I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate two. So as you can see, I've kind of started because what I wanted to show you is that you can get a pen or a marker or paint and you can actually paint or draw on your wooden peg or um, the way I'm going to create a fin you might want your fin to match the trunk in which case you might want to wrap the same material around the middle um, to match your fin and that will become more apparent as we go along so put these away right on here, I've already started drawing a fin. Now, the fin is going to fit securely within the kind of middle of the peg. And it's about, I don't know, two millimeter slice through there. Um, so, if you want to make your fin out of card, um, you can. You can also make it out of the felt. Now the felt is a little bit more difficult in that getting the felt in the crack, I don't know what you want to call that, um, it's quite difficult because um, you can see where the difficulty lies. Now I have, I have solved that problem by poking it through with a piece of card. I can't remember exactly how I did it, but it was something like this. poked in using a bit of card like that there see okay now let's say 
if you're not um, completely confident about making a mermaid, that's fine. You can make whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to give you some ideas. I mean, obviously, you know, you might want to base it on one of your favorite characters or your favorite um, book character or a person you know. But I am going to go ahead and demonstrate the mermaid. So what I did was I measured the width. Let me roll up my sleeves here. I measured the width of the peg because you want this kind of tab to fit inside of your peg. Um, and it's obviously a little bit too wide in my template. Um, so I'm going to thin it out by myself. But I would say at least two, millimeter, two centimeters long. Now you can do a really easy tail like this like a bell or a, a tulip so if you get that shape if you want to make the detail of the fin just use that as a template that line and just draw the rest of it and that's what you're going to cut out um, it can be as fancy or as schmancy or as simple as you like um, you know you could make it a little bit more curly like this um, but what I found when I did one like that it looked like a mustache and I'll show you it kind of reminded me too much of a mustache my scissors are caught on there yeah I mean it still looks like a mermaid tail but it's up to you um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out now, if you are going to do one in felt, I would suggest getting another piece of cardboard, you know, the back of a cereal box, something you've got lying around the house. Um, you can see I cut one out of paper, and then what I did was, so you can see here, this is where I cut it out. Um, I drew it on first, and you can draw on your felt, but you, a ballpoint pen will draw, but you kind of have to go back and forth. Um, you can see the line isn't very clear, and obviously you can just flip that right over once you've done that. So, let's cut this out. Um, smaller scissors are better if you have them. Um, if you have any manicure scissors, um, only because if they're too big, it's quite difficult to get around those curves and create those points that you need. So I'll go ahead and cut this. There you go. Okay. It's a little bit rough, so maybe these scissors aren't that great, but there's lots of things you can do. But now, if you wanted to, you could start doing the scales. And even though the marker pen, this felt tip pen, isn't showing up altogether, because it's card, it's kind of embossing it as I go along like that so you could do something like that alternatively you could just get a piece of white paper and you could paint your own I'm sure you guys are imaginative imaginative enough to work it out okay so here's the one I've done and what you do is you would Get it in the right position, like that, and you would go ahead and start gluing it. So I'm going to go ahead and glue mine. I'm 
I would also put a little bit at the front, just in case. Now because the card isn't as thick as the actual gap in the peg, you just have to make sure it's in position. I mean, you might want to even jam a piece, another piece of card up there. In fact, I think I might do that because as I work, that's just going to fall out. So let's see. So again, let's just reposition this so when it dries, okay. Okay, that looks quite good. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay. All right, again, for the tail trunk, I don't really know what else to call this part, but it's part of the tail, isn't it? Um, I guess it's the it would normally be the legs so the tail trunk here again um, if you wanted to wrap it in the gold here um, you would have to measure it um, which needs some math and I don't have a ruler here but I think the best way of doing that would be like this I'm sure you can work it out but so you've got your peg Let's say I'm going to measure the circumference of the peg. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to mark the middle. All right? So that when I roll it, I know I have to come back to where I marked it there. And that would be about approximate. Um, so I would actually give it a little bit more at one side just so you can glue it or stick it um, so you might want to wrap it around a few times I'm not sure if you wanted to measure it exactly then I would go with with that line there All right so that would be about the width if you wanted to wrap it now when you do wrap it if you want to give it some if you want to measure it longer, I found this was a good way. You actually stick it down the crease in that crack because it gives it a secure base there. Now obviously this piece of card isn't long enough, but if you're not worried about the back of your mermaid or merman, then that's okay. Um, but that can be used. Now glue, you need some really strong glue. Um, I'm not going to glue this on. Um, but what I suggest you do, if you do glue it, you know, it's going to unravel because it's thick card. So what I would do is I would either get some thread or some string or some sellotape um, just to tape that up. 